Hey guys, and welcome back to some more of Paleo Pines. Today, I'm going to embark upon the desert area, or at least a bit of an area kind of like connecting between the valley and the desert, because turns out <laughs> this whole time it's been available even in the demo, and I've been, you know, waiting for like a right time and realized, oh crap, I'm missing out. But before I do that, I do need to do one thing quickly, and that is that I did find. Uh, let me think. I did find some uh, rare creatures in Dapplewood that I really would like to get first. So I'm going to go grab those quickly. I have also since unlocked every single pop-in. Turns out that the criteria of unlocking the pop-ins is just like waiting a couple of days and then people will ask you, Hey, what flavour would you like today? A new flavour? Oh no no, it's a bit of a repeated story. But I will tell you what though, these get very expensive. So, I'm going to quickly grab a couple of items. I don't actually know what the dinos want. And then we will crack on, tame them and move on to the desert. God, it also just dawned on me, I don't have any fragrant poppins, and if Pippin wasn't here, I would've been screwed. So, bit of advice to all of you, make sure you stock up on your poppins. Uh, same with like gates and buildings and everything else, make sure you stock up in advance because, because the NPCs do rotate in and out, and if you get caught unaware, that's it, you're not getting your dino. <laughs> oh god, that was, that was a close one. Right, so here we go then, here is the first of my new buddies. And down here we have what I think is a Lavender Delonica, so I can't remember exactly. Now, I would admit, uh, this and the next one I planned, they're not ultra rares. I'm- oh, whoops. I am slowly coming to terms with the fact that in, you know, so far my entire gameplay I've only found one ultra rare. I've been playing for about, I'd say, 40 hours in game. Now, I will admit this is only a rare, not an ultra rare. I'm slowly coming to terms with the fact that in like, what, a month and a half of in-game time, I've only come across one ultra rare, so I think my whole ultra rare obsession's probably getting a little bit silly. It only took eight episodes to realize this. So I'm going to be focusing on just getting like the really cool ones I can find, the ones I want to get. So. The Dominicus, I can't actually remember what these guys like, so I'm just going to try uh, Fragrant and Earthy here. It's probably going to like Fragrant, I imagine. Oh, I didn't like it at all, actually. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, alternatively, let's try a Spicy Earthy. If it doesn't like this, then I know it's either crunchy or juicy. I'm kind of glad I've actually got like a bit of options. It doesn't, it doesn't like it. Oh, so it's just going to be crunchy or juicy. Oh, I'll be damned. Okay, then let's try carrot. You can never say no to a good old tasty carrot, but I do need to find out though. Like, okay, is it juicy or is it crunchy? <laughs> That's really important. But I did like it. Um, does that... Oh, you know what? Did I just give it a potato? Let's try giving it a potato. If it likes a potato, it likes crunchy. If it likes a carrot, it likes what well, it does like the carrot. If it doesn't like the potato, then it is juicy. It is juicy. Wow, I'm very surprised. I've not uh, completely annoyed it to the point of leaving. Oh, is that the green? Ah, oh. do I try it? I, mm, you know what? I'm feeling, but I've only got two. I can't risk it. Um, thankfully, you can just exit out, and it won't like completely cancel it. Oh, I'm gonna have to balance it. Let's give you another carrot. It's definitely a juicy. It's a juicy lad. Oh my god, that took a fair bit of back and forth. I was like, what, six carrots? But it's in the dark green, which means that I am not going to risk my poppins. I've only got two. I forgot to buy more juicy ones. I got more of everything else. And I don't even know. There it is! I don't even know what the other one wants. Ah, it's a cute little purple Deinonychus. I, I'm, I, right, I'm going to call it Lavender for now, but I will be asking on Discord again for names now that I know I can rename them. So temporarily, name pending, that is Lavender. Let's go get to the other rare. Now this one here, as you can imagine, I did not want to miss out on because it's tiny and I would have had no chance finding it again. These are really hard to spot. I think it's a combi. Oh, that's so bloody cute. Oh, it's a Microraptor, a Sand Corrector's. Another one of which I forgot to, oh, it's in the green. Oh, I can't remember, but I kind of want to try it. You know what, you know what we've not done so far is spicy and earthy. Microraptor. The little feisty little buggers, especially in Ark. I'm just, I got a gut feeling. I'm going to go for spicy. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little baby. It's so cute. Oh, oh my god. Wow, that's incredible. A little spicy bugger, aren't you? Oh, but it's so cute. 
Oh god, again, I don't know what it's- uh, I'm gonna call you- I'm gonna call you Nibbles. Again, name pending. Oh, look at it. So, yes, that is- let me double check real quick. Go into the penless ones. So, yes, um, the Minecraft Nibbles is a blueberry muffin rare. And lavender is a lavender rare Dynamicus. Look at that, we've got two little babies. Look at that red one. Oh my god, the little sound it made when it went snoring. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking, yep, uncommon, cool. Right then, it is becoming night time and I have already used up the stamina on my Storaco. So I'm gonna wait till the next day to do a couple of little chores quickly. And then we are going to the desert. About bloody time as well. All right then, it is time to finally break into the desert area. There are two total entrances, and I'm just gonna quickly knock out the back side first. <gasps> there we go. Now, technically that is supposed to take three hits, but I did actually uh, <laughs> knock it two times in the past, just in case I wasn't able to actually finish it. Oh, look at that, we got a little Angie. Oh, look at this. So there is like an entire different zone, just like Dapplewood. But I didn't realize that all of this was actually accessible immediately. Oh, I'm glad I did the extra two hits just in case. It's an entire pathway over there. But, before anything, Ankies! Didn't I have a quest for Ankies like a year ago? Yeah, <laughs> this whole time. Uh, not literally a year, but this whole time, like, I thought, uh, it's like one of the earliest, one of the first optional quests I picked up was to get a, uh, the Study Wild Anki. Oh, look at them! And I can finally, I can finally... <laughs> Finish that bloody quest. <laughs> uh, I bet you're a coffee colour. I was not ready for that really deep central purr. That was very, very unexpected. Oh my god, that is really unexpected. I <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Oh, it's kind of cute though. I suppose it's quite fitting actually for like a big girthy creature. Oh, it's so peaceful. <laughs> really deep. Okay. First of all, let's uh, quickly study you before I bonk you awake. That's finally that one random optional quest done. It's a rare. <sighs> Let us read about the Incarnosaur then, shall we? <laughs> so, will this appear in Viridian Valley? Uh, yeah, it's technically a Viridian Valley dino. They are waterers and stompers. Oh! That's got a little wood breaking icon. Was I supposed to get this a long time ago? Oh no, I feel like because this area has been accessible ever since I got the Storaco and broke into Dapplewood, I think I was supposed to get this a really long time ago. So if, if the Stomper breaks the um, wood chunks, what does a Slasher do? What is a Slasher? Uh, they might not be the fastest steed, but their impressive stamina and strength make them reliable companions. They're said to have a very strong sense of smell, which helps them sniff out their favorite crunchy snacks this whole time it's a crunchy team that that's weird to say out loud it oh my god i <sighs> i'm gonna add that to my little tips and tricks video which is gonna be out long before this and don't worry i'm only just figuring it out now and i will spare you for what has taken me eight episodes to figure out oh my god i guess slash is probably for those trees actually right then Let's break apart a whole bunch more rocks in. So I did bring with me all of my taming supplies because um, I've only got one large dream shard and one small dream shard left. Although I'll probably get some more doing this actually. Oh, yeah, I'm bound to get more dream shards then I'm finally in this area. Uh, that's going to be really handy then. So I think I will go tame the uh, coffee and color saw. I can't believe that. The first one finds a rare. We got some triceratopses over here. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, the adorable little pastel colours. So green is clearly a common one. Let's look at you then. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at it. Oh. That is an interesting call. It definitely had quite a variety of tones there, didn't it? But again, I managed it. We're all good. We're all Gucci. <laughs> <The end. laughs> that <little end. laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like really like the markings by the way. So you! There you go. Got ourselves a Triceratops discovered. 
Okay, it said rose. I read that and thought rare and I was about to get very, uh, well, not, not angry, but like, you what, mate? <laughs> These are tillers and smashers. They are large ceratopsian and easily identified by its frill horns and love of fresh fruit. Their lower companions make quick work of plowing fields on the ranch or clearing paths in the wild. See, I see. Oh man, this is so cool. So we've got all that over there. We've got even more like hedges and such. Wow, there's a lot of hedges to break through. Oh, dream shard, dream stone. Dream stone, why do I keep saying dream shard is a dream stone? Where is cherry, there's cherry. So this is the front path, which is right next to the farm entrance. So that, of course, is now gone and cleared out. And I want to get that dreamstone so I can now get more large tames. So I definitely will get the Anki then. I'll get the Anki, like, probably at the end once we're, uh, you know, kind of done exploring. Because you never know. You never know I might find something special. You really, I mean, cope. But um, there we go. Finally, another large dreamstone. Right then. Is this really it? There's supposed to be an archway, which will then take you to the desert area. Have I really? I I think I've kind of wrecked my plane. Like not not actually wrecked. Like obviously, you know. Thankfully, in this game, nothing is uh, you know permanently lost. But. It would seem like I really made a mistake waiting to get into this area and now I don't have access. <laughs> oh no, I don't have access to the other place. I mean, I am still waiting for my slasher, Ash. Ash the Kentrosaurus is a slasher. I feel confident that it can slash the bushes and the brush and that can like cut through. There's a lot of it though. This is clearly the entrance because it looks like this area here is a lot, a lot less dense compared to the rest oh my god i can't believe i am definitely sparing you all from this trouble again i'm talking like far from the past you, you guys are like way in the future for me you've already seen my tips and tricks video <laughs> okay oh, this is so cute okay well i guess i'll just go get the anki real quick not like I've got anything else to explore anytime soon. Unbelievable! Oh, but look at you. You are precious. Okay, let's come back. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? There's a corner there. Oh, this isn't going to be the most, uh, you know, photogenic angle. I mean, oh, there you go. You fixed it. Oh, cool. We're looking at that one. So it said crunchy. Um... Although, I don't need to feed it anyway. Oh, hold on, maybe like a little bit more. Don't go to sleep, don't go to sleep. Ah, oh, I went to sleep. Oh, you know what? So it's on the green bar, but it is a crunchy. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and take the gamble because I've got so many crunchy poppins. I do wish that for as many uh, optional quests as you get for crunchy poppins, I wish that I did the same for the other poppins as well because you get like 20, 30 crunchies versus less of everything else. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna call you Smashy, for now. Again, I'm gonna get people to name this. Oh, look at you, good old Smashy. <laughs> my, uh, what are you again? You are a coffee color, I believe? Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, my rare coffee Anki. How about that then? Well, that was a, uh, <laughs> a surprisingly brief visit. Uh, can I scan that or, um, no, journal it even? I can't believe how brief this was. I am. Um... <laughs> Honestly, it's just funny. It's actually just really, really funny. Ah, uh, cool. So in the end, we did get like three special dinos, all rares, all new creatures as well. If you're wondering, by the way, I did send a Microraptor and a Dinonychus to live with the Cedophysis. So now, um, good old Blueberry finally has company. They've been waiting a long while for some company, bless them, and they finally have it. So the Anki, I do believe, is a pack dino, so it's not going to want too much company. Oh no, <laughs> he's trying his best. So I'm going to move it to live with the two Gallimimus. And by the way, Blue Jay, again name pending, is now a happy helper as well. Hey, this is now your home. Smashy has a home. There we go, and I'm going to go ahead and chuck down this. Oh no, they're all unhappy. Uh, I'll just put this over here for now then. Probably need more space, right? So let's just double check. Uh, oh, not enough food in a trough. Okay, I can fix that. 
There we go. I do actually need to buy a whole bunch of food for everyone because, uh, yeah, some of them are a little bit lacking. I'm doing like another giant food shop. But otherwise, I think now it's going to be a good time to wrap it up then. Um, are they like actually happy? I feel like that's a very small pen for an Anki. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I thought, okay, it actually is too small. Okay, cool. So I will fix that up then. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll wrap it up here then. That way it's not too long. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and I hope you enjoy the new... Oh, what is that? One second. Sandstone. Interesting. Yes, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all again next time. Cheers.